Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be sharing with you guys the study techniques that I'm currently using to learn my subject content. So this is a summary of the things that I'm going to talk about. So I'll be explaining more about Active Recall as well as how I use Active Recall, as well as space repetition and how I use this concept of space repetition in my study. There are timestamps time in the description below, so if you want to skip to any part, just feel free to skip to it. So first up, let me talk more about Active Recall. As the name implies, it is an active way of learning. Compared to rereading where you read the answer and try to ingrain it in your mind, Active Recall works the opposite way where you try to retrieve the answer from your mind. So in this case, you'll be testing yourself constantly. So overall, this forms stronger connections in your mind as you struggle to recall the answer, thus allowing you to remember the content more vividly. As you continuously study the content, you will get better at retrieving the answer from your memory. Task Active Recall simply gets easier and easier in the long run. How I use Active Recall is via the question and answer method to test myself. And the way I do this is to use an app called Anki, which is an app targeted towards Active Recall and Space Repetition. I will leave a download link in the description below if you want to try it out. Download Anki, this is like the default user interface. So right now what you want to do is you want to create a deck about a subject. So you press create deck. Then you try to write down the name of the deck that you want. So for example, let's say we are studying A-level physics. Physics, work, energy. Let's say your topic is on work, energy, and power. After you are done, you create the deck. Then you'll see right here. So you click on it. So right now you have to create a card for the deck. So you press on add. Then after that, you will write down the question and answer kind of thing that you want. So for example, let's say right now, I want to study the principle of conservation of energy. So over here, you see that I've gotten a definition of it. So currently what I want to do is, I want to convert this into a question and answer type. So instead of having it in this format, I'll type down what is the principle of conservation of energy. Then after that, I'll make this uh, in blanko out so that I won't see this answer. But how do I do this is I'll click on this triple triple dot here. I can just press command shift C on the MacBook. So this will convert it into a blanko out form. So after this you will just click on add and then you close it. So when you click on study now you will see this question which what's it, what is the principle of conservation of energy and then over here is the answer. So once you have tried to record the answer then you press enter and see whether you got it correct. So overall, this is it. So let me show you the example that I made for my actual A-level physics. So over here, when I click on it, you'll see my actual deck that I've done for physics. So let's say for example, after I've done trying to recall what is work done, then I just press enter and the answer will come out. Okay, so by default for Anki, they don't have this blue color blanco thing. So what I did was I searched on the internet for like a way to make this and so basically the solution is you need to go to edit. Okay. And then you go to your cards. Then over here you'll see these three things: front template, styling, and back template. So if I'm not wrong, I think what I did was I found this script online and I copy pasted, copy and pasted it into here for me to get this blanco blue blanco format. But if you click on it, then you will simply review the answer. I'll put this script in the down, I'll put this script as well as this script in the in my description below because I'm not too sure on which script it was exactly right now because it was made like maybe two years ago. By default, Anki is like kind of a front and back kind of thing. So when you have the front which is like work done and the back being the definition itself. But then for me, I prefer to like to see this whole thing as a whole on its own instead of having this front and back method. So that's why I went to find out this source of code and put it inside my Anki. So right now, let me bring your attention to this forgetful curve here. At the start, when you first learn the content, so this is like, like time zero, your memory of the content is the freshest, like 100%. But as time gradually passes, the amount of content that you remember will slowly fall. So what you want to do is you want to re revisit the content at the right interval. So maybe this is like day one, and you try to study the content again, so it gets back up to 100%. But then you fall again. But this time you fall at a much slower rate compared to the previous one. So maybe at like another day, day three, then you try and study the content again. 
so you'll rise back up and once again you'll start falling again so basically by doing this it will help you to constantly keep up with the content and gradually you can extend this interval here so that you don't have to keep keep visiting keep visiting the content as often as you need to now the way i do this is through the use of google sheets as well as color coding my understanding of the content which i'll show you right now So over here, you will see the space repetition table they have made for using Google Sheets. Over here, I'll be showing my physics one. As you can see here, these are all the topics that I do study for physics, and like, and these are the chapters respectively. So overall, all these dates that you see here are the dates where I basically, uh, on other dates where I visited the chapter. Over here, you'll be seeing three colors. First is red, then yellow, then green. Red means that my understanding of the content is very shallow. But when you see green, it means that my understanding is very good. So these are the ways I color coded the content. And it basically also determines on what days I need to come back and, re and revisit the content. Basically, when I see red, it means that I have to revisit my content more often at the start. As compared to when you see green, for example, at wave motion, the number of intervals that I have come back to revisit the content gets larger and larger at an increasing rate. If I'm not wrong, I think Anki has his own system of space repetition for it to keep track on the subjects. But the reason why I like to use Google Sheets is because I can input all these dates by myself, as well as seeing all these greens can make me feel quite more motivated to keep on doing this space repetition study method. Now overall, I think this method is very useful for content heavy subjects such as like maybe chemistry or perhaps for humanities like history and geography. But on the other hand, for problem solving subjects like mathematics, I find that this method is not very useful since for mathematics is more of problem solving and like doing the questions compared to trying to remember the content. I think that the biggest challenge here is trying to stay disciplined to study the content at the time intervals. But really, it will really get a lot easier in the long run. How I kept myself on track was for all these time intervals, I would have rotated it down on my calendar or anything that I can notate with so that I can put my to-do list on it. And since my discipline level is usually the highest at the start of the day, I will, I will, I will be studying all these topics at the start of the day so that I can actually accomplish this task. And also what kept me motivated was I knew that it will always get easier in the long run. So as you can see here, as the day progressed, the number of days that I need to revisit the content also increases. But at the same time, I also still remember the content quite vividly. So overall, this really motivated me to keep on going. But the main reason why I use Anki and Google Sheets is because both of these are digitalized. Sorry for my bad handwriting. So for Anki, all I need to do is to bring along my MacBook Air. So any, any time of the day, as long as I have my MacBook, I can be studying these topics. And for Google Sheets, as long as I have access to a portable device, maybe my MacBook or my phone, I can always record it down instantly so that I won't, I won't forget as well as input the next time where I need to visit the content. As long as you are constantly testing yourself and at well time intervals, you are on your way to acing the subject as far as, as far as remembering the content. I hope you found this video useful and if you do, please drop a like and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye!